Woo! Benji's wanna come out like right before a very important time. This has been very fun. These days getting ready for the photo shoot is no joke. My skin tone looks brightened. This is definitely one of the key products. Oh, now I feel like I'm alive. Alright guys, today I turned on my camera after a really nice long bath. That's why you see my skin right now. It's super red and heated. I have to hurry up and start my skincare routine. But these are the set of products that I've been using for about two weeks now. Two to a little bit past two weeks. And they've been doing wonders for my skin prep, especially for my wedding photo shoot. So the main thing that I really focused on was number one, like inner dryness. I wanted to make sure that my skin is fully hydrated. Number two, skin texture, because my face, you know, my photos, it needs to look good and I need my makeup to go on smoothly. So I thought about skin texture a lot because there's so much that you can do with Photoshop, uh, but I don't want to Photoshop my pictures too much. Like maybe I would like to burn a little bit of like fat here and there sticking out, but I don't want to do too much Photoshop on my face, especially because the um, studio that we've chosen is very like, they have this very clean kind of portrait looking photos. So like too much like Photoshop wouldn't look good. So uh, skin texture is definitely something that I did focus on. And the last thing is I wanted my skin to look really like revitalized. I wanted my skin to look alive. I didn't want it to look dull or like, I didn't want to look tired, you know? So those three things I kept in mind while I was choosing like different products that will work really well together. So I've been using these set of products. The very first one is the Robectin Sika Care Purifying Toner. As you guys know, this is one of my favorite calming toners. Um, this is great for, okay, let me put it on because my skin is like parched right now. It's like craving for hydration. So I'm gonna be using the Robectin uh, cotton pads as well. They have really good sponge type of cotton pads that I really love. And they're very big, so I don't need a lot. So I'm gonna be actually using this as like a sheet mask. Okay, I'm gonna get one layer and put it on fast because my skin is mad at me right now. Oh yes. Oh, that feels so much better. Usually what I would do if I'm really busy for usually morning routines, I would do two to three layers of this toner and it has like a really watery texture as you guys saw. So it soaks into your skin really fast. It is super watery, but don't let that fool you because it does have like a little bit of that viscous feeling at the same time. It's not too like those watery toners. So it's like right in between, I would say. Um, but this is a really good one, especially uh, if your skin is sensitive or irritated. And there's so many, I would say, reasons, different reasons that your skin is irritated or sensitive. But like one of the biggest reasons for me personally is if I wear too much makeup. What I mean by that is not heavy makeup, but if I wear makeup too often, like if I wear makeup every single day of the week, for me, because when I cleanse, I do such a thorough job. And of course, even if I'm like very careful to do it very gently, it still irritates my skin. So that would be one of the biggest causes for me, for my skin irritation or sensitivity. And another thing is definitely uh, sleep for me. It, it makes a huge difference in my life. So the pads are really big. So it fits perfectly like this into one shoot. So it's really easy to use. And I've been enjoying doing this skin pack these days. In Korea, we call it skin pack <laughs> because toner is called skin. One right here. I'm gonna do it on my whole face. But anyways, guys, this is like, these days getting ready for the photo shoot is no joke. I've been so busy, uh, but I'm trying to enjoy every like experience that I do have. And I'm so excited that very soon, you guys will be able to see the wedding dresses that we've picked out and stuff like that. Um, Cause they didn't let us 
film uh, videos but they did let us take pictures which were the pictures that you saw on Instagram I usually put it right mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's a perfect size but today since we have to chat together I'm gonna open my mouth it's so big so it's really nice to do DIY sheet masks with like this really easy and it does have a lot of good ingredients it has a painted ingredient it has Hutuania cordata it has Madecasocyte Centella asiatica so it has a lot of good calming um, ingredients in here and one of the best news is that probably you guys know this all already but they have uh, way before uh, the version they used to have lavender oil but no more lavender oil they have upgraded the version so for those of you that might have not know just wanted to throw that out there because some people do have allergic reactions or they their skin reacts to um, essential oil so i think that'll be good news for you guys don't be scared i got some scissors to cut it in half my scissors is humongo <laughs> so people get scared when i actually hold it up so i'm gonna go like that it's perfect actually oh now i feel like i'm alive oh, i feel so good but yes it does have really good ingredients the patent formulation that they do have uh, it allows your skin to help to heal itself and kind of restore the natural moisture barrier which is really good so your skin does feel a bit stronger once you start adding this into your routine uh, but another thing is it does have Hutuania cordida which is such a great antioxidant as well so overall it's a very good calming toner but when you continuously use it um, you will see really good improvements uh, with overall the health of your skin and you know what I love can you tell even immediately that this part is drying up already each time that I do the DIY sheet mask this part dries up so fast of course because I did put it on uh, first but I feel like this part is maybe more dry than this part so I always wanted to kind of show you guys this and if you want to do it for a little bit longer you can always like put it on top like this because sometimes you know you want to put this part a little bit longer so I always wet this part <laughs> a little bit more and another thing that I've been doing is <laughs> so used to taking off my clothes <laughs> in front of the camera don't worry I have a little like thingamajiggy dress here <laughs> And I've showed this so many times in my other videos, but one other way that I love to use this uh, toner is actually putting it in a bubble maker. And I'm, pro I'm probably like, like, like such a fanatic about bubble makers, but it just is one of the easiest and most fun ways to use like your toner. And I love using this like on my body like this. Just squeeze it out. One of the best parts is that if you use this toner on your body, it, it, it all like drips down. But when you use it in the toner maker, it creates these like sexy bubbles that can soak into your skin. And because it is in like this bubble format, it soaks into your skin so much faster. So I love it, love it, love it, love it. And the new formulation that they do have, um, it has a very like floral kind of scent, so it smells so good. I like a little bit of good scent, you know? I do care about scents a little bit for the things that I put on my body. Like face, I wouldn't really care, but body, I think I do really appreciate it if it smells nice, you know? So because the day of the photo shoot is only like a few days away, I'm really trying to focus on um, hydrating my body skin as well. All right guys, so this part is already drying up a little bit, uh, but this part I think needs about a few more minutes. So I'll be back after two to three minutes. All right guys, so I'm gonna take it off now. Oh, thank God. It has calmed down. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. I feel so good. Excuse my weird noises. Oh, my skin felt so like heated and irritated. 
Oh, so that feels so good. You know, I told you how my skin is like irritated usually uh, when I can't sleep or when I don't eat well or especially if I wear makeup every single day and do like really rough cleansing. Uh, other people that uh, have concerns of hormonal acne or if your skin is irritated because of other issues like even rosacea, this toner is really, really popular for those skin concerns as well. So do keep that in mind. I've been using this every single day for almost two weeks and it has been feeling so wonderful. And I'm gonna move on to the second product now this one is the Medicube Pore Zero Serum or Zero Pore Serum, whichever it is. So this is something that I do love, especially for pore care. And one of the things that I did talk about for our wedding photo shoot, I wanted to make sure that I don't have breakouts. Like of course, like it's impossible to not break out, but you know when you have that special day, you want to make sure that you don't have like a big old Benji that like pops out and that like steals your moment. So <laughs> I'm just praying for, for that. This one is something that I talked about a lot on my channel as well. So it has a very light texture too. And this is a great serum uh, if you have number one concerns of uh, uh, enlarged pores or if you have really oily skin this is really good or for me I don't have either or, or I do have both I have combination skin so for this area I really have concerns of enlarged pores or like excessive sebum but these areas are very dry at times but overall what I've noticed is when I add this into my routine I have, I get definitely get less breakouts because it does kind of help to get all the like nastiness out from the uh, pores. So I love using this uh, these days. It has been a great mixture with the toner and the cream that I'm gonna be showing you guys. Uh, texture wise, it does feel a little bit light uh, in a way. I would say if you have dry skin, you would need something a little bit heavier or you would want something like your skin would crave for something like a little bit heavier. This also has really good formulation for especially for pore care. So if that's like one of your biggest skin concerns and if you're having like you want to make sure that you don't break out uh, for a specific day, uh, I want to recommend that you try this one. I like this one. And then afterwards, I'm going to finish off with a cream. So the last step is the cream. And this is the Alive Lab Multi Ice Cream. Isn't that a cute name? Ice Cream. So this is a gel type of cream. It does feel like it has like a cooling sensation when you do apply because it has a very gel-like gunky texture. I wish that they had it in a tube type. I think that would be much easier to use because especially like gel products, it's nice if you squeeze it out. So please, a life lab, if you come out with the, I think, squeezable tube type, I think it'll be fantastic. But let me show you the texture. It has a very, like, almost like an aloe gel-like texture. So you don't need this much amount. I would probably use like, I'm taking it off. Maybe this amount for your whole face. But today, since we do have the luxury of time and we are chatting a little bit about my wedding, I'm gonna apply a thick layer on. And this is like what I do for my special, like special care days. What you're gonna do is soak in the cream halfway. Don't soak in everything. Soak it in halfway. This feels so good. The main ingredient, like the first thing that is on the ingredient list is actually um, Canadian glacial uh, water. So that's a really good ingredient uh, that's rich 
with minerals. It helps to lock in the moisture. So it's really good for mask knee as well because when you have your mask on, of course it becomes a little bit humid because you have, you're like breathing in and out. But because of that like constant humidity, sometimes your skin gets really dry. So the mask can actually strip away the moisture from your skin. So you do need to apply a cream that can help to kind of lock that in. And this cream does help to deliver that rich like hydration back into your skin. And then I'm gonna actually use a cooler today. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to kind of give that extra care for my skin today. It feels so good. And because it has a very aloe gel-like kind of texture, you can definitely use it this way. Or you can even use it as a sleeping mask sometimes if you want to use a different cream. This is really good for um, as a sleeping mask too. And already this cream has like a very like cooling sensation, but just because I just want to make sure that my skin is fully calmed because you guys saw how red my skin was, right? <laughs> I was so shocked when I first saw myself in the mirror. I was like, oh gosh, I gotta calm it down. And one of the reasons why you do have to calm it down really well is because if you leave your skin, that's why people tell you like, don't go to sauna too much because of course you think it's great because it opens up your pores and all the toxins goes out. That is very true. But at the same time, afterwards, if you don't um, like help to make sure to calm your skin, that can lead to a lot of different skin concerns. And this cream also has very high uh, oxygen content to help to calm heated skin as well. And another ingredient that it has is galactomyces. Um, as you guys know, a lot of famous like first essences contain this ingredient. It's a very great fermented ingredient. That's great for antioxidant. Uh, one other thing is it's amazing for brightening effect. That's like what it's mostly well known for. My skin does feel more like vitalized and it looks more alive. I look less sick and things like that. So I'm really excited that I'm adding this into my routine and it suited my skin really well focusing a lot on my double chin too. I'm gonna be showing you guys um, a product right afterwards, but definitely I know that like it's not severe and stuff. And if, if you do have double chin, like who cares, you know, like whatever, I love my double chin. But sometimes you know, in your photos, like you wanna look like snatched, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> and I do have to admit that a lot of wedding photos in Korea, they do so much Photoshop. So I'm gonna make sure that we don't do as much as Photoshop. I don't wanna make the picture look so fake or like too Photoshopped, you know? A little bit of here and there, the help, it really, it really helps, you know? But if it's like too much, I feel like it kills the whole vibe. So uh, I'm gonna be showing you the mask right afterwards. And if you don't like the fact that there's a little bit of the product left, you can definitely use a cotton pad and a toner to kind of gently like wipe, not like harshly wipe, but gently wipe the like leftover um, cream and stuff like that. But for me, I'm just gonna soak everything in because my skin is like drinking it up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, you guys, my skin feels hydrated. Like my inner dryness is gone and my skin feels so good at the moment and the redness has definitely calmed down a lot. Of course, the time-wise, if you just leave it alone because it's like from the heat from the bath, it's gonna calm down, but it has calmed down really well. I love it and my tone looks more brightened. I feel like this is definitely one of the key products in the routine that has helped um, to me to prepare for that special day. So I'm very excited. And then this is the last one. Uh, I don't use this every single day, this one, because it hurts. Like, I'll show you guys. But this is the Ava Jar Perfect V Lifting Premium Mask. And then they have another one, um, the Perfect V Lifting Premium Plus Mask. So the difference is, uh, is it only the jawline or the other one like kind of hugs this area as well, like cheeks. Uh, but for me, I just wanted to kind of go for that kind of like like sharp 
uh, look without the double chin and this does really help it won't help if you use it just once but I've been using it like two to three times a week and I feel like it does make a difference um, but it hurts it does hurt let me show you guys how you use it when I first got to know about this product it was like through a live streaming I got to host it so I actually bought it off of coupon and then I tried it each one costed I feel like I think it was like manon, maybe eight bucks or even ten bucks or so. I'll actually put the price right here. Um, and then when I first tried it, it kind of hurt it because this like literally kind of pulls. So this is like a very stretchy mask. You first do have to kind of stretch it out, and it's really strong. They have like a very special technology where it doesn't rip. The mask does not rip and it has kind of cloth like thing here and if you see here they do have like um it's kind of sticky here but not a very uncomfortable feeling but you're supposed to put it like right in between and then put it behind your ears but i'm gonna do that right after i do this all right guys the battery turned off <laughs> the battery died so i put on my um, sweater and i waited so we're gonna cut this together. You cut a little bit of the ear part. Yes, this makes a huge difference. Same here. Yes. And then you put it right, right here in the middle. And then you apply like this. Then put it behind your ear. So without actually cutting it, it's very uncomfortable. I literally had to take it off after like even a few minutes. But if you do cut it a little bit, it's so much more convenient. Like right now, it doesn't bother me at all. And the good thing is you can always eat something with this on. It's totally up to you. And it's not that like once you put it on, uh, you can take it off again and then put it on. So you can kind of adjust it if it's like, uh, if it doesn't suit your skin, if you could like push it to the back, it's totally up to you. And it does tell you to wait about one to two hours. <laughs> so that seems pretty long, right? So you can definitely just watch TV. Um, you can, you know, be very active with this. You can move around, it really doesn't matter. After a certain time, it does kind of pull a little bit. Then you can take it off and kind of stretch it, let it kind of breathe, let it be free, and then put it on if you would like. Uh, but it's totally up to you of how long you would do it. Uh, honestly, for me, I can't do it for two hours. I do it maximum like 45 minutes to one hour. And the thing is, if you wear a mask right on top, no one's gonna know. So yeah, this has been very fun for me and I feel like it is definitely something uh, that you guys should try if you guys are interested. Okay, so I'll see you guys in about, I don't know, probably 30 to 40 minutes later. Bye. I'm ready. I'm here, I already dried my hair, and it's been about one hour and 10 minutes. So I'm so ready to take this off. And right now it is starting to hurt a little bit. Oh. So I do have to say that this does not magically like make your jawline V blind and stuff like that, you know? But I do feel like because it does help to lift your skin, like physically it does uh, help with the lifting effect. And um, since I have been adding it around two to three times a week, it has kind of made a difference. I think when I wear this, uh, right before I go film for Wish Trends or when I, right before I film for a camera, it really does make a slight difference. Um, and when you do take it off, it's not sticky just like really comfortable and as I mentioned before it's really easy to um, put under your mask these days so I think you guys will like it so definitely wanted to show you guys this one and this is once again not reusable so you do have to uh, throw it out afterwards you can add one to two drops of oil but I feel like for me this is perfect um, the seed cut toner from Rovectin and the serum um, pore zero serum or is it zero pore serum from Medicube and also the Alive Lab ice cream has been a perfect combination for me for the past two weeks or so. Um, as you can see my skin tone looks 
brightened. Uh, I feel like my skin, uh, the inner dryness has been like soft. So I feel like it has been drenched with moisture and um, yeah, my skin just looks really good. And I feel like for the wedding photo shoot, um, my skin is going to be in a really good condition. So I'm really excited and I hope that we can continue on to kind of keep this good paste. You know what I'm saying? Cause always like, I don't know why Benji's wanna come out like right before a very important diet. This time I hope that Benji's, you guys don't join me. Even if you keep all the rules for skincare, use the best products in the world, I think it's, it's not gonna help if you don't sleep well if you don't eat well if you don't drink a lot of water so you do have to keep the basics those are like the most important things and then of course your skin care products is definitely gonna help so for me i was really happy to find these set of products i feel like they have been working really good for my skin and yes all right guys so that is it for today i will be vlogging the whole experience of the very day of the you know wedding photo shoot and the whole week too i'm gonna do another video of me getting like my waxing my uh wedding pedicure my manicure and uh, me going to also a skincare clinic uh because actually i found out that my tongseng from like back in the days from like my la days like from oh my gosh from like even 20 years ago probably i heard that my friend uh, my tongseng works at a clinic so i'm gonna go see her on monday um but anyways we have a lot of fun more things coming up so stay tuned in and all the links uh, for the products that i talked about today will be in the description below so thank you guys so much for tuning in and yeah hope you guys found this video fun don't forget to hit that like button because it makes a huge difference the algorithm like spreads it out more so we can get more unicorns out there and yeah so don't forget to subscribe of course you gotta subscribe but all right guys i love you guys so much and i hope that every single one of you guys are staying safe and i will see you in the next one 